do you have questions about lumber or about wood in general or what to use or how to do things? Well, Kyle and I are gonna take a few minutes here and share with you some of our thoughts and ideas and our concept of just how we help people out in the lumber industry. The lumber buying guide. Lumber buying guide, I like it, Kyle. We're gonna keep that. Or maybe it's the lumber buying guide. Because when I point for years, he's gonna put the so when someone comes in, you're coming to buy lumber, you should have yep. a trailer. Yep. For the most part, you should have already called me 24 hours in advance, especially if you're buying kiln dried lumber. And you should kind of have an idea of the square footage or board footage of the lumber that you need. Kendall, what's a board foot? What is a board foot? Yep. Great question, get it all the time. Basically, a board foot is a square foot of lumber that's one inch thick. Kind of like a square foot, but it also has a thickness to it. Yeah, it's one inch thick, one foot wide, and one foot long, yep. right? And how could that get confusing when you're dealing with a piece of lumber that isn't one foot wide and one foot long? If you've got a seven and a half inch wide piece of lumber that's, you know, 12 feet long, how do you figure out the board footage? Yep, how do you well, do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Length times width times thickness. So it's 12 feet, but you actually have to measure in inches to do this. You would go 7.5 inches times 144 inches, which is 12 feet. And then you would divide that by 144 to get seven and a half. You're not gonna like to hear this, but we probably should have a couple bullet points for answers. A little no, bit. we don't need bullet point answers. This is, a, this is a lumber company that is 100% real. Okay. So we're authentically answering lumber buying guide questions. All right. How much extra, when I'm doing my project, how much extra should I buy in order to make up for mistakes and waste? 10% extra is a pretty good idea because, you know, unless you live five minutes away from us, if you're one board short or one piece short and you gotta drive, you know, an hour each way to come visit us, plus your time and, you know, it just, it's not worth it. You're better off having a little bit extra. There's all kinds of different things that can happen. So it's smart to, Kyle just left me. He left me. How does it make you feel when he leaves? Oh, and then the most important thing, you even do this one. Make sure you get the okay from the boss first. Oh yeah. I really don't want to get, um, sell you a bunch of lumber and then have you come back with a black eye saying that you need to return this lumber because the boss said that the boss didn't approve it. The cool part is we play bad cops, so if you go to him and buy it, you'll get a better discount than when you go to me. I'm usually too busy though. That's why I hired Kyle, so he can take care of me. <laughs> so, what dimensions, what species do we typically have on hand here, Kyle, for people? It depends on what, whether you're going with a rough sawn or kiln dried lumber. Our rough sawn fresh cut green lumber could be any dimension. It's a, we do offer custom sawing so that we'll cut, you know, whatever lumber to whatever dimension you would need. But our kiln dried lumber it typically runs uh, four quarter, and they call it four quarter, all the way up to an eight quarter or even 10 quarter for some rough sawn kiln dried lumber. And then, and then the species will typically, and, okay, let's do it. <laughs> you want <laughs> Take a break, break time. The lumber buying guy.